Vancouver, BC. And uh, this is my uh, S80 T6 powered 240 wagon. Uh, it's about two years in the making, I guess. Basically, uh, I had a B23 in this car and blew it up and realized it was a blank slate. And it just happened about that time there was an S80 T6 motor on eBay for cheap and in North Carolina, so I bought it and brought it up here and I brought a, an M90 in from, from England, so I put an M90 transmission in behind it. Yeah. Uh, it's fueled by Meg Squirt. Uh, it's got a custom stainless header, a T67 with a T4 hot side on it for a turbo. Nice. So uh, it made 350 at the wheels when I down when I dynoed it. Uh, or sorry, it made 285 at the wheels when I, I dynoed it. Yeah. And I ran out of fuel injectors because they were half the size of what I ordered. Yeah. So uh, it should be a solid 400, 450 horsepower car when I get the injectors in it. Uh, Ford 8.8 .8 rear end, narrowed, uh, the whole car is converted to Ford bolt pattern, 14 inch uh, Ford Cobra R Brembo GT brakes on the front of it. Um, it's been widened about two and a half inches aside in the rear, Yep. Uh, so the fender flares are actually cut out and sheet metal is added and everything pulled out. What inspired you to do this project? As far as a lot of people really like how wide it is and everything like that, but what... Uh, I think. What it came down to is, if you're going to modify, if you pick Volvo of all brands, you're probably trying to do something that's a little bit different. So for me, it was like, okay, if I'm going to try and be different, there's no point in buying a different car and then modifying it the same way that everyone else is. I might as well do something that's really different. And I think it was something that, you know, I, I've spent some time fabricating for a living, and so I wanted something that felt like a, a challenge to me personally as well. I think it needs to be a challenge or I don't stay interested in it. Uh, so I think that's the main thing was just to really try to push myself and do something different and and I think ultimately at the power level that I've chosen this is going to be a, a little bit more appropriate as a daily driven street driven car than, than a four cylinder would be. So I thought they think there was some value in that too. What's your favorite uh, aspect of the car that you've done so far? Um, I think the, the rear arch has turned out pretty good. Yep. I, th I think I'm pretty happy with just the overall stance of the car, that the, the brakes and everything fit in the wheels and, and all that kind of thing. Good. I think from that aspect, the stance and everything integrated pretty well. Yeah. Nice work. So um, what's next? You've got about two years into it so far, you said? Yeah, so next up is uh, I need those injectors so I can re-dyno it again. So the goal there is going to be, I'm going to be limited 400 or 450 horsepower or so before I need rods. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I've got interior to put in, there's lots of odds and ends and that kind of thing. Um, so we'll see. I'll either just drive it as it is or I'll put a built motor in it and shoot for 650 or 700. Yeah, cool. Uh, or I could sell you like build something else, I guess. Well, it's really nice. I'm glad you drove it down. Great, thanks. thanks for letting us see it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.